Good evening, everybody, and welcome back uh, to this Friday Night Live, August 21st of 2020. I am so excited that y'all are here with me. And um, my name is Brandi Cox, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for popping in and joining us. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love to craft and love to share, and I talk a lot, too. So for those of you that joined me last week, thank you for hanging in there with me. I went back and read some of the comments and I saw someone said, give that girl some water. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. When I looked at the clock afterwards and I'm like, did I really talk for an hour and a half? Oh my goodness, crazy. Um, but it was such a fun night and I had so much fun sharing with you all of uh, you know the new products and the things that I love so much. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you're back for some more crafting, thank you for coming back and joining us. Um, it's so fun. I'm looking down. I have my laptop here in front of me. And I can see some fun comments coming in. And um, I see we have a bunch of folks in here from California. And so um, just letting you know that we are praying for you and uh, these fires, um, gosh, it's so scary. So prayers go out to you guys. Um, and I appreciate you being here. Um, all right, so we've got people from Ireland, the UK, um, here in the States. It is so fun to meet people all over the world. Who knew, right, <laughs> that we could come together this way? So I think everything is running good, and we have our Amanda back. Um, as she stated earlier, she uh, had emergency surgery. She had a kidney stone. Ouch! <laughs> From everything I've heard, it sounds super duper painful. And so um, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, Amanda, but I'm so glad you're back and that you're better. Um, so Amanda actually is on my team and she's also helps me um, here for Brandy's cards as well. And so she is in here. She's also known as the Stampinette, so she can answer some questions as well. So thank you, Amanda, for being here. And then of course I have my IT man right across the way um, and he's over there helping me too. All right, so um, before we get started, I've got some fun things to share with you. Well, some things you already know about, and then of course there's a couple other new things coming up. Um, so first off, oh my goodness, I was so excited that y'all visited my retired store. <laughs> it's funny, my mother-in-law, she scans a lot of the, um, she's so kind, and she scans a lot of the, the stamp sets and the different things, and she puts them online for me. And she said, now, will you just tell everybody that we just put some stuff up on the store? Well, I don't know that I've really ever told anybody that the store was there, you know. Anyway, so when I mentioned it to y'all and we had, uplo well, she had uploaded like 150 products. And oh my goodness, you guys went there and thank you. She was so excited. She's like, oh my gosh, we just sold something. We just sold something. And it was like the coolest thing for us for you know, the last four or five days. So um, thank you for going over there and checking it out. Um, you know, I'm sure like many of you, it's so hard to get, to let go of, you know, your Stampin' Up! goodies. And it's just as hard for me. And if I could hold on to everything, I would. Um, and even some of those that I truly love, I know that if I have not used it, I would love for you guys to use it um, because they're such wonderful products and I just want somebody to love it and to use it. And so I was glad to put those out there. Speaking of that, um, I think there's a couple mini trimmers left. So if you didn't have a chance, uh, Doug and I checked and there's just a couple left. Um, and then I also have a new product out there called the um, Darling Label Punch. And I'm gonna show it to you guys because I don't think it was up there when you guys looked at it. Um, but it comes in this tin and it's super cute. It's a great giftable tin. I had a friend once that um, here in the neighborhood that likes to um, collect these tins. They're pretty cool. So I actually gave her a couple because they're fun to put cookies and things in, right? Um, but I think Doug actually put the contents up on your screen. But I also have, um, I've also got it here. And so there is a punch inside of here, as well as um, you've got the punch, you've got a couple spots. 
So there's Grapefruit Grove and there's Knight of Navy in there. And then there's a block, right? So that's nice. And then of course the stamp set. So I was really excited um, to have purchased a couple of those. They are retired. They're no longer available with Stampin' Up. Um, so anyway, I just put those on the store and was really excited to share that with you guys. So I'm gonna set this down because that one's mine. So now I can open it. <laughs> so I'm gonna just look over here and see. Um, gosh, hi Dawn. Gertie is probably here and I know she misses you, Gertie's grandma. And um, yeah, I see the, um, yeah, grandma is in here. So um, I'm sure she's going, yay, hi Dawn. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna share with you is there is a joining promotion coming. I, you know, I was shocked, honestly, because Stampin' Up! just got over one and um, they decided to offer another. So I was really excited about that. So the joining promotion, you can join as a hobby demonstrator or you can join as a career demonstrator. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you um, so that you kind of know what it is because you're gonna start seeing lots of people talking about it. Um, and so it's $99 plus shipping, right, I'm sorry, plus tax. So $99 plus tax and shipping is free. So you get to pick out $125 in merchandise. And so this new promotion is called the Get and Go Starter Kit. And so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, so with this starter promotion, you get the Queen, Anne, um, Queen Anne's Lace Stamp Set. And I believe this one's $17. So that is the addition, one of the additional free items. And then you also get the So Much Love, which I can't wait to color that with some Stampin' Blends. And I believe that one's $20. And then you get a pack of Jewel Rhinestones. And then they're also gonna give you um, enough like cardstock, pre-cut cardstock for, I believe, Granny Apple Green cards. There's gonna be like eight pre-cut cards. And then enough for a Coastal Cabana as well. And I think altogether, it's about 42-ish extra dollars on top of your um, starter kit. So you get the normal $125 in merchandise plus these additional items. So that will start September 1st. So if you had been thinking about joining and you just hadn't had the opportunity um, to reach out, please do. I'd love to share all the details with you. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead here on my computer and show you um, my team page. And so if you are on brandyscards.com and you click um, my blog, right? And so once you do that, if you click on team, and once you're on team right here, there's just basically there's some pictures and I will have the new starter kit promotion loaded in here. Right now I don't have it, but I will. And so these are just some of the things that I offer my team and you can kind of go through here. This is one of my most favorite videos. I have to point it out with Sarah and Shelly. Um, oh, it was just so neat. It was actually at Shelly's house and so much fun. Um, but this is the, this is, um, you know, this is the current starter kit. So the promotional one is not in here yet. Um, but of course you can kind of see some of the things that we offer. So definitely have a look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of look down here and um, see if there's anything going on. Where is the store? Well, here, let me show you, Linda. So um, we're gonna go back up here to Brandy's Cards. I just happened to catch that. So if you click on Brandy's Cards at the top left corner, that's gonna take you right back to my homepage. Um, but if you click my blog, that's generally where I go. Um, and if you click Shop, and then once you're on Shop, um, you can see this is my online store here. And then over here to the right, there's a little button here and it says Brandy's Retired Product Store. So if you click on that, that's gonna take you here to my, um, to my product store. Now while we're here, I do um, want to, go ahead, yep, okay, super. And so while we're here, we're gonna talk about Creative 8 in just a moment. So I just wanted to let you guys know that starter kit promotion is coming um, September 1st and it ends on the 30th so that um that will be here soon all right creative eight early bird registration so creative eight is um oh my goodness it's coming up fast already super excited about that 
Um, so the Creative 8 registration, that is gonna open on Monday, August 24th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so myself and my other four partners, my Creative 8 leaders, we're all gonna send the email out at the exact same time. And so, um, you know, you're gonna get a link probably from all of us. And so the link does matter because we each have our own specific link for registration. So it is not one link for everybody, they are different. So make sure that you watch for the email of the Creative 8 leader that you're looking for and you're gonna click on that. Um, and so here in my store, in my retired store, you're gonna see the Creative 8 Fall Retreat here as well, so you can click on that. Um, but it won't be available until Monday at eight o'clock, okay? Awesome, so if there's any questions, let me know. Of course, Amanda's in here, and if you're on my team, you have the opportunity to earn it for free. That's one of the perks from being on my team. And so I will be posting, um, you know, reminding you of those details, and we hope that uh, you all make it and will join us there, we'll earn it. So, okay. The next thing is we have some winners from last week's live, August 14th. So I showed you guys that I had a couple, actually I had three of these A Merry Hello stamp sets. And so I just did a random comment picker and three winners came up and I was super excited. So if you are watching tonight, um, my first winner is Lori Lennon, right? My second is Sue Schoen. And my third is, is so fun, it's East Texas Lady. <laughs> I'm North Carolina Lady. <laughs> but if East Texas Lady, if you're in here, um, I didn't see your name, um, that's all I saw. Um, and you know, you came up as one of the winners. So if you guys are here, thank you for being here and thank you for being here last week. Um, go over to brandyscards.com and click on contact and send me an email. You have until August 28th to claim your gift and I will send you this stamp set right away. It's super cute, it'll be great for the holidays. Okay, so perfect, you guys can see the winners. Oh, I love East Texas Lady, that sounds fun. Okay, so next thing on my little agenda here and then we're gonna get started crafting is the bonus day coupon. So you guys only have a few more days. So bonus day coupons run until August 31st. If you can't find your coupons or you they aren't working or there's any issue whatsoever and you're one of my customers, reach out to me so that I can help you, okay? I'm more than happy to do that, but I don't know if you don't reach out to me, so be sure to do that. Yeah, congratulations to the winners. I tell you guys all the time, one of my most favorite things to do is send happy mail. I love it. I love to send happy mail. It just makes my heart so happy. So just as happy as you guys are to receive it, um, it makes me just as happy to send it. And Grandpa Dave, he comes and he's like, wow, you have more mail. <laughs> Grandpa Dave is my husband's dad and he comes to take my mail every day. He's a hoot. All right. Teresa, loss of power. Eek, must be storming. Okay. So um, I think we are ready to move on to our crafting project. So I'm excited. Um, one, you know, I told you guys a couple lives ago, maybe three or four, that I love the Simply Citrus card kit. If you haven't had the opportunity to look at it, it's fabulous. Now Stampin' Up! does the best they can to take pictures and share images in the catalog, but sometimes you guys know until you get it in your hands you just really don't realize the beauty of these cards. So I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys this kit and I've got some ideas and I also have kind of dressed up the box a little bit so that you can gift it later. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Oh, hi Priscilla. Happy Mail is super fun to receive. Absolutely, it's the best. It's the best. Okay. So I am gonna step next door and we're gonna get started, okay? Let's do this. All right, so here is how it comes. So this is the Simply Citrus card kit. And um, basically it comes, you know, with plastic on it. And so you're gonna take this off. This cardboard box is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And so I'm gonna bring it up a little closer and let you see it. It's got little lemons on there. 
It's just so cool. So, so cool. So when you take it off, this is what it looks like. Um, inside of here, you have a Knight of Navy stamp, um, stamp pad, a little stamp and spot. You also have um, the stamp set, right? And so the stamp set says, thanks for being you, just a note, hello sunshine, and way to go. Now I don't have my catalog right here in front of me, shame on me, but the kit is on page seven. And so that is where the kit is actually featured on page seven. So if you have your catalog, be sure to open it up to that page. There's a better picture of the stamp set in there and that's why I point that out. Now, this kit is called an all-inclusive um, card kit. Now, why is it called that? Well, because that's what it is. It has everything you need to make these cards. Thank you. My husband, my stagehand guy here, he just brought me the catalog. That is the best. Thank you. So here is um, page seven. And so this is the, the card kit I was talking about. So this shows all of the items in here, as well as the stamp set. And so the Just a Note is full size, but this artwork is shown at 40%. So just keep that in mind, it's not actually at full size. And that's just so they could squish it into here, okay? So this is what the kit looks like. And that's on page seven. So inside of here, we have got a whole nice pack of Stampin' Dimensionals, which we love. I always love to open these kits up. It is like the best. And so we've got our envelopes, which I thought they were so pretty. These are like little lemons and things like that. So that's fun. And so there is a block in here and it does say Stampin' Up on it. So these blocks are nice to have. And they've got also have some twine, some different things. And then you have the cards, the card bases. So all inclusive means that it's everything that you need to make your cards. The only thing that's not gonna be in here is your snips, your glue, or adhesive, that type of thing. So check out these fun card bases. They're super cool. If you have this card kit um, and have enjoyed it or wanna share anything, please feel free. Would love for you to share. I have thoroughly enjoyed creating with this one. So I'm gonna pull one of each and we're gonna put some of these together because that's what we do. We have fun crafting and then coming up with some like alternate type ideas and some fun stuff. All right, oh, I almost missed a very important piece. Okay, so check this out. So those are the directions, the all-inclusive kit, Simply Citrus. So you have a picture and then on the inside you have close up, well, actually on the inside, it tells you what the coordinating colors are for this kit. Um, and it tells you what's included in here as well, right? And then of course you have pictures, up close pictures of each card. So I just think that's super cool. And it's just a really great way um, to get started. So if you're a beginner, this is a perfect way to start. Or maybe you're an avid crafter. Well, you know what? You can totally change these up too. You, even somebody who has been crafting for years and years and years, can absolutely enjoy these kits. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff away because I actually have one that's already open. Now, if you have an actual Knight of Navy stamp pad, I would just probably go ahead and pull it out. The Stampin' Spot is great, but I personally, since I have my stamp pad, I enjoy using my stamp pads. So I just went ahead and pulled that one out. All right, so let's start with an easy one, an easy peasy. So this one is the first one. And you know, it was funny because I was thinking to myself, hmm, gosh, that background is fairly busy. Am I gonna like it? And I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed um, this card. And I'm gonna show you later something else that I did with it that I loved even more so. All right, so I'm gonna, actually, let me turn my computer so I can see some of the comments. Yes, Renee, the kits are super easy to use. And one of the nice things about the kits is if you're a demonstrator and you're here joining me tonight, these are fantastic to share with your customers or share with your team members or your friends. It's a perfect way 
to kind of get your feet wet for a crafting event. Um, you know, and if you're a customer and you like crafting with your friends, these kits are perfect to have like girls night and coffee, right? Or, or um, you know, maybe cocktails too. Then you get really creative, <laughs> right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of picking out, um, you know, one of each of these pieces so that we can put these together for you. And um, I did not punch those out earlier on purpose because I wanted to kind of show you exactly how it all goes together. Okay, so we have a bunch of pieces here. So the first thing is, is we're gonna go ahead and add our Stampin' Dimensionals. And so this one, you know, when I started creating these cards, what you have to think about is when you look at the picture, you don't always have to make it identical to the picture. And it could be like subtle differences, like um, something has popped up or not. Um, and so we're gonna kind of do this one pretty similar to what they already have. You're gonna see how fast these go together and how beautiful they are. So when I put this one together, I'm gonna to give you a few tips along the way. I actually lined it up between these two lemons right here. They seem to be the easiest visual for me to get it straight. So I'm just gonna kinda add that right in here. All right, and then I went ahead already and I stamped my sentiments. Um, just to, you know, to save time because I had other things I wanted to show you too. All right, and so we're just gonna add that to the top of our banner and just add a little bit of adhesive here and we're just gonna stick that guy down. That is easy peasy, right? Super easy. And so in this little bag, you have some twine, which I love the twine. And then you have these flowers. Check out these pretty flowers. Do you guys see them? They're like vellum, I don't know, vellum cutout flowers. They're so pretty, so pretty. And so we have um, inside of the kit, you have these little, um, you know, mini glue dots, if you will. They're perfect. They're actually kind of smaller than normal. Um, I really like them a lot. And so what I did is I just went ahead and sort of decided, okay, Here's the places that I want to stick my flower. And I actually picked some different places than Stampin' Up. So I kind of liked it on my sentiment, near my sentiment, and then kind of one right down here. And I'll use my scissors and kind of pull up my little dots. They kind of like flick all over like confetti. It's okay, you know. I find these things all over the house. And so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna stick our little flowers on top. Super easy peasy. So this is probably the easiest card. So we're starting with the easiest one. Um, and then we'll move on to some of the others. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. And so the neat thing about this kit is there's actually, I believe, five designs and you get three cards of each design. So that's gonna give you 15 cards. Now, do you have to use the same sentiments? Absolutely not. If you want to make this a happy birthday card, you absolutely can do that. Now I have some Stampin' the, you know, the basic rhinestones. You could use any jewel or gem that you would like. Stampin' Up! did not put any gems on these. And I thought to myself, now I need something sparkly on there. Um, and so I absolutely just bedazzled it with my gems, which, you know, again, maybe, maybe you don't want gems, maybe you want pearls or you want something different. So that's entirely up to you. So there's your first card, all right? And so I actually have, oh yeah, I have been working for you guys. So I have five, actually I have three of them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that one aside and then we're gonna move on to our next one. All right, so the next one in this group is this really cool background. So I know my station looks a bit messy, so bear with me, because I have lots of parts and pieces. So this background is super fun. And these are already scored, so that is nice too, right? Um, and so this one is the citrusy. Right, we've got orange juice, you know, the <laughs> orange juice, the oranges and the grapefruit. So I think that is super fun. Now the Knight of Navy, that is the color. 
that Stampin' Up! is suggesting that we use. And so I've already mounted the leaves. And if you look in the picture, they actually have you stamping the leaves. And I kind of liked it where it wasn't perfectly framing the leaves. Now you could do it however you would like. If you are like, now Brandy, that's crazy. I want it completely framing it. Well, you can absolutely do that. You can certainly get a perfect frame. But I kind of liked it where, um, yes, the, somebody says, where's your take your pick tool? You know, it's funny. It's hard to, you know, teach me new tricks. I just love my snips, <laughs> Marcia. You know, it's so funny. I just enjoy using my snips. And so that's kind of where I've stuck. Um, but you know, I do pull out my tape your pick tool on occasion. So these little flowers are also in the sample. And so we're just gonna ink those guys up and just kind of add them around the sides. All right, and so let's see, let's put this one right about in here. So that's as easy as that one is. And so again, you know, the next question then is how do I wanna make my card? You know, Stampin' Up, they took one of these right here and they layered theirs flat and then they added the little strip and then they had a sentiment. I chose Hello Sunshine and you know, we can pop it up or not, right? And so it just kind of depends on how you like it. You can move it around, you can do it in different directions, you don't have to use some of the pieces. And so when that card is finished, you got this cute card. And you guys can see that I've added my little flowers again and the gems. And so, you know, I did it close to how Stampin' Up! did it, but I changed up my sentiments and I changed my flowers, right? So, you know, again, the idea is, is to show you that there's options. And then of course, with that coordinating envelope, it is super, super cute, okay? All right, so let me take you on to the next one. And I'm gonna set this one aside because I will be coming back to finish all of these. I love them. All right, so this next one is one of my favorites. And I think it's the one that you guys saw in the picture. So check out this little banner guy. He is so cute. He honestly kind of looks just like the, um, the envelope, right? And so you'll see that the inside of the envelope is that way as well. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just wrap around. And again, this is coming from the directions of Stampin' Up! And so if you look at the directions, um, you know, I like to make my first one, if I like the card, I like to make my first one as Stampin' Up! has made it. And then I like to get creative and kind of go rogue, <laughs> kind of do my own thing. Um, but that's okay because nobody knows what it's supposed to look like, right? That's the beauty of crafting, you know? Nobody knows. And so I'm just gonna tie a little bit of a bow here and, um, and then we're gonna get this guy stuck down. And so this one is pretty easy peasy too. And so you have your bow, We've got this beautiful paper. And so we're gonna fold that guy in half. I love that it's already pre-scored. That is the bomb. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna add our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I am gonna probably get a little heavy with them just because I don't want anything saggy, okay? So I just will probably get a little heavy with them. And it's really nice, this whole thing of Stampin' Dimensionals, at the very end, I'll show you how many I actually used. And like you, and you can see here, I kind of went heavy. Um, and you can see exactly how many I used and how much product is left over. So here we go. We're gonna stick that guy down. You can trim your bow if you'd like, or if you like a long flowy bow, you can do that too. And then I have my sentiment and we're gonna add our sentiment on here. And um, again, I just stamped this earlier just so that for saving time, so that I could show you guys some other projects as well. But I'm gonna stick this one right in here, just like that. And so there we go. And then of course you have your mini glue dots and you can add your flowers and so forth to this card. So after you do all of that, here is what your card will look like. 
So this is what it will look like. It is so pretty, so pretty. I mean, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And so the envelope coordinates with it. Now maybe, you know, this isn't the envelope you wanna use. Maybe you wanna use the other envelope. You know, that's the nice thing about this is there's choices. This one matches perfectly, look at that. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So that is, um, that's the next card. And you know, I actually thought about taking my in-color uh, enamel dots and trying to maybe do something fun with those. Um, but I didn't, didn't do that this time. So I'm hoping one of you guys will and share it with me. So um, someone says here, you, I don't even look at the instructions and I just do my own thing with the kit. I love that. I love it, I love it. And you know, that's the fun things about these kits is that you don't have to have the directions. Just have fun with it, just play with it. It's just, I mean, it's along the lines um, of like paper pumpkin, right? Okay, so the next one is going to be this pretty coral card. So here's the pretty coral. I love the dots, they're fabulous. And so on this one, I'm just gonna kind of show you a few things that I found. And since I forgot my scrap paper, I'm just gonna fold my Get and Go Starter Kit promotion in half, okay? And we're gonna use that as my, my stamping spot. And so on this one, here is my, uh, my lemons. Oh, these lemons are so cute. So in the stamp set, there is a lemon, all right? And we have Knight of Navy. There is kind of like, you know, specific ends to your lemon, who knew? And just kind of stamp it. Now again, you could stamp it off if you'd like. Maybe, you know what I mean off, kind of not necessarily framing the lemon um, perfectly. Now, you know, keep in mind, you might like it without it framed. You might like it just as it was. Um, so again, this gives you the opportunity to get creative. And so here's my leaves. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these guys. Oh, look at that one, that perfectly framed it. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and do them all for you. And see, I like that, how it kind of comes off like that. I think that's kind of cool. Somebody asked me the other day, is that a mistake? No, that's not a mistake, Grandpa Dave. No, no, no. He's like, really, you missed it. I know, I know, I did that on purpose. You did? I did, okay. So there you go. <laughs> so here we go. Um, there is my, my card so far. So what we're gonna do is again, we have some twine. And so we would wrap our twine around this cute piece. We would put it on here. And so let's turn it so my lemon here, my top lemon looks nice at the top. And then if we added, you know, maybe one of the little blue strips like Stampin' Up! has in here, and then of course we would add our sunshine and here is the card that you get. So let me take that and put it aside. So here is the cute little card that you get. Oh, isn't that precious? Now, I actually, um, when Amanda was here the other day, I did all three of these coral cards and I did one like off to the left. I did one with it centered. I did one off to the side. I just did them in all different ways, and she and I were like, oh gosh, I don't know which one I like best. Oh, it was quite, right Amanda? We had fun trying to pick it out. Um, so anyway, it's just such a beautiful kit. Such a beautiful kit. So anyway, that card was one of my favorites and super easy and fun to do. All right, so we have one more. And so this one is the Just Jade. So who are my Just Jade lovers out there? Does anybody like that color as much as I do? Oh my gosh, I think it's the bomb. I love it. Okay, so we have just a couple pieces left. And so I'm gonna show you how I stamped this piece. So we've got on this one, we've got a lot of leaves, holy moly. We're gonna be doing some leaves. Um, but I also have my orange, my grapefruit, whatever you would like to call it. My little Dylan, he likes, to, he likes to go to the grocery store and buy fresh oranges. And he's like, can we squeeze oranges? Oh my word, if you've ever tried squeezing a bunch of oranges for fresh orange juice, holy moly. 
<laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> And it's like, you know, he just helps himself to like, you know, two big glasses and it's gone. And it's like, dude, is that for you or for everybody? Anyway, we love that he loves his orange juice. Um, so here we go. We got one more to do. I will be honest with you. Um, when I looked at the instructions, they kind of stamped it perfectly where it, it lined up perfectly. I personally didn't think it really mattered and it didn't bother me either way. So, you know, just kind of what works for you, how you like it, because again, whoever receiving this card, they're not going to know, they're not going to know exactly how it was supposed to look or, you know, how it was supposed to go. So have fun with it. Don't stress about it and enjoy the stamping experience because sometimes it's really nice not to necessarily have to come up with the idea or have a starting place, right? A place that you can start and then kind of take it from there. Um, so, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. And it's perfect for the beginner stamper too because it's got everything that you need. Um, and it's a great way to see, okay, what do I need to stamp? I need paper, ink, and I need stamps and you are off to the races, okay? So we're just about done with this one. I just kind of wanted to show you how this comes to life. When you start kind of framing these leaves, it really does kind of bring it to life and, and um, it looks like DSP. It's really cool. Now, if you hear people say DSP and you're like, what does that mean? I was PTA president of the school and I would go to SLT meetings and it was like, the ESL and the ETA and the and the this and the that and I'm like oh my gosh what are y'all talking about DSP is designer series paper so if you hear people say that that's what that means okay so we have our pretty paper that we just created and we have our little blue strip well this one's a big strip I guess right you have your big strip and then I went ahead and stamped the thanks for being you and so that's what that one is gonna look like. And then when it's all done, here is the final product. So I'm gonna set that aside. And here is the final card, right? So I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. Now get this, what if you take these beautiful cards and you put them all together with the envelopes right so we have one two three four and there's actually two more here here's one here i have them kind of all over the place here so let's just have a look and make sure we have five all right so we have four so we're missing the pretty coral one all right so there's the coral one so what if we take all of these pretty cards we put them together and stampin up has these acetate um I believe they're called acetate uh, card boxes. And so what you're gonna do is, um, let's see how many's in there. Let me just look at that. Um, does it say, oh yeah, so there's 10 in there. So this card kit makes 15 cards, you get three of each. So if you're looking for some gift giving this season, you know, the coming holidays or for a birthday, you can just go ahead and if you got these acetate boxes, they just kind of fold, right? And you put them into place. So if you're new to my channel or you're not familiar with these, this is actually a product that Stampin' Up! sells. So you can find those um, in Stampin' Up!, okay? And if you don't have a demonstrator or a catalog, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to send, um, to send you a catalog. So these boxes are fantastic. And you know, you can do it a couple different ways. You can put all the envelopes in the back right or you can you know put all the envelopes in the back all the cards in the front and let the recipient match them and then just go ahead and put them in this box and now you have a beautiful gift right and so you know whenever i get invited to a dinner party or anything like that i always take my handmade cards um, and i give it to the person as kind of you know a housewarming gift or anything you know what I mean just a gift for inviting me over for dinner and making me dinner now there is a little piece here at the bottom 
And this is from, you know, I don't know that you guys can see that, but that's from the inside of the box because when I closed it, we don't want our pretty cards facing that direction. Oh, no, no, no. We are going to flip those guys over so that they go in the other way. Five might be kind of too many. I'm not sure, but I found that I can make it work. All right. So then you're going to close your box and now you have a gift. And so he, from here, you could take your twine because you've got lots of extra twine and you could wrap it around, tie a bow. You could use some different ribbon. You could make a belly band. There's lots of fun things that you can do. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm excited to show you another idea. So what about, you know, so what if you are like, you know, um, like, the, the, like the lady who told me earlier, maybe, maybe it's Sophie or Sophia. She had mentioned that she likes to get the cards and just do her own thing. Well, I like to do that too. So here's my thought. What if I want to make everything go a little bit further? What if I decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some cardstock for white card bases. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pretty cardstock that came in the package and I'm gonna cut it down. All right, so I'm gonna bring up my trimmer so that you can see this. Now remember, the cards are, when you fold them, they're four and a quarter by five and a half. I generally cut down my cards at a quarter each. So it's a quarter off this side and a quarter off that side. All right, so that's gonna layer it nice on my white card base. So we're gonna cut it at four, and you guys are like, no, don't cut your card. <gasps> yes, here we go, okay, it's done. We can't go back now. <laughs> it's done, we can't go back. Um, and so up here, I'm gonna cut it at five and a quarter. And so five and a quarter is going to give me my piece for my card base. One thing I love about my Stampin' Up! trimmer is I have this nice scoring tool in here. I had no idea, quite honestly, how wonderful it was until I started using it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that thing rocks. Amazing. You're like, how could that be so cool? No, it is. It is. Okay, so now we have two pieces, and that will be important here in a minute, and I'll show you why. So we've got our cardstock. We have our white base. I'm just gonna put a bit of adhesive here on the bottom. And so we would then build our card that we just created, right, on a white card base. And I love the way that the white really pops this up. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when we do that. Are you guys ready for these? All right, so let me just close my glue so that, um, so we're gonna hang on to these because I'm gonna show you something in a bit. So here we go. So here is a white base. Actually, you don't need to see the envelopes. Let's just focus on the card. So you can see here that I took all of those cards and I put a white base behind them. And you have to look at how it really brought them alive. Even more so, they were already beautiful, weren't they? But gosh, when you add the white around them, it's like, oh wow, that is really cool. So they were both very, very pretty. Again, I like them both, you know, that way too. But after I put the white around it, I loved it. So here's this one, and this one has the white. You guys see the difference? And so, you know, so the cool thing is, is if you're a beginner or you're an avid stamper or you're looking to have a bit of product left, you probably have some white cardstock that you could make these card bases. And then you would have an extra piece to work with of the coral, right? And you have the stamp set, so that will allow you to get creative. All right, so I'm just, I was excited to kind of show you another option with those white bases. All right, so I'm gonna kind of look over and see, hi Vicki, hi Sheila. Gosh, thanks guys for being here. Terry, 
Oh, so cool to see everybody. Add some foil paper, yes. You could add foil paper, you could add glimmer paper. You could just do lots of different things with these for sure. Um, but I was kind of thinking beginner stamper or somebody who is looking for maybe some extra product. Okay, so what I did is I actually cut the coral one in half. And remember I told you if you, let me grab one and show you. Um, I have lots of stuff here. Oh my goodness, okay. And let me grab my cutter back off the ground, my trimmer. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this again. Remember we cut it down at a quarter. So we're gonna cut it at four, right? And then we're gonna cut that guy again at five and a quarter. But you know what? We're gonna work with this piece. So I would just do the same thing with this piece, cut it at four. And you know, you can even save these little strips and those little strips you can get creative with too, right? So you have lots of opportunity to kind of have fun with some of those things. And so now what you have is you've got two pieces and like I showed you earlier, if you cut your Whisper White cardstock in half, you can make two cards. So here is the card that I made from this piece. And I just thought it was fun. And again, it was working with the stamp set that I had. And so let me open the catalog again to page seven. And if you guys have your catalog, definitely open it up to that. And so this is the stamp set I had to work with right here, this um, Simply Citrus stamp set. And so I had the lemon and the leaves and the little flowers. So I thought, okay, well, let's just use the little flowers and create a card. So, you know, this is from here, right? Stamped in Calypso Coral. I added, so in this kit, you actually have a bunch of these little flowers left. And I added my twine, which was a bunch left. And I just pulled some Whisper White, which is super easy too. And now I've got myself another card. And then I had some fun and I decided, okay, I'm gonna start stamping my envelope and you know, just kind of getting creative. And one thing I thought would be kind of fun with this, I would cut this piece off here, but you could certainly, you know, dress up the inside if you wanted, or, you know, glue the strip on the inside and maybe stamp a little, some flowers on it so that it coordinates. But that was kind of another fun way to do that. So then what about this Just Jade one? I keep looking at this one and I'm thinking, okay, so what can I do with that one with the stamp set that I have? So what we're gonna do is I have some scrap paper here somewhere. So hang tight while I pull my scrap paper. And so I've got some scrap paper here and I thought, well, let's do this. Let's take our Knight of Navy stamp pad and let's stamp some lemons. Some lemon, lemon, lemons, okay? So we're gonna stamp some lemons and then we're gonna stamp our leaves. Actually, you know what? I didn't do that the right way. I need some memento. So hang tight. I'm gonna reach over here and get my Simply Chamois. And I'm gonna clean this back off because we're gonna color this. And so we're gonna need the right kind of ink to do that. Otherwise it could bleed. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and grab my memento. All right, now we are cooking with grease, okay? We are on the right track now. So we're gonna stamp it and stamp it. And it just, I mean, it's a beautiful image. I mean, it's really nice. And then we have our leaves, okay? And so we're gonna add our little leaves and we're gonna, boy, it's hard when my phone's in my way to get a perfect, to get it lined up, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, so we're gonna close that up, and now I have my Stampin' Blends, all right? And so I have Daffodil Delight and a bit of Granny Apple Green. And I believe they're both darks, yeah. I'm not really looking to blend, quite honestly. You certainly can, right? Um, but I'm just looking to add a bit of color to my lemon and just kind of bring it, a, bring it to life. But um, again, you know, you don't have to. You could get your light and dark blends out. 
and really kind of, you know, add more depth to it if you would like. But I'm going to keep it simple for us today. And I have my Granny Apple Green, which is one of my favorites. Love this color. And we're just going to add a bit of color in here. Now there is no die cut for this stamp set. This is from a kit. So you will have to cut it out, hand snip it out with scissors, okay? And then I thought, well, what if we took our white background, we have our white background, we have our extra piece, which we would cut down to size, and what happens if we go ahead and emboss it with the ornate embossing folder? Comes out absolutely gorgeous. So this is the second half of our card, right? So we would add that to the top, right? And then we are going to basically cut out our lemons. And let me show you the card that I came up with. And so this one was from Those Cute Lemons. Isn't that fun? When life gives you lemons, we need to drink some lemonade. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> That's what I like to do anyway. I love me some lemonade. And so, oh, my gem, he's a little wonky. He got on there crooked. Got to push him back. Um, so that is my card. And then, of course, you know, you could stamp it on your envelope. And that lemon is just so cute. And then I also added it on my, the back of my envelope, too. So, um, and I took that strip that I told you from the coral card, and I took the jade strip. And let me show you that, that came from this piece. And so I just tried to use everything in the kit and I just kind of started making some alternate projects um, by adding white card bases. So I thought that was super fun. What do you guys think on that? You guys like that? Um, you should consider, let's see. I really love the enthusiasm. Well, I am so glad that you're here, Kathleen. I am. Amanda is the real Stampin' Nut, but I'm also a Stampin' Nut, <laughs> and I just love it, and I love sharing. So thank you guys for being here, but I'm not done yet, so I hope y'all aren't going anywhere. You guys going to stick with me? You want some more? Hi, Denise. I love, love, love you. Okay, so here we go. Let's go on to the next piece of this, and so it's going to take me a second to find all of my stuff. Okay, so I showed you the box, and you're like, uh, yes. Okay, the box is amazing, like amazing. It's a nice cardboard box, and this is a beautiful box for regifting. So I just thought it was like, hey, this box is so pretty. Let's try to do something with it. But what can we do? Does anybody have any ideas? I don't know. But what I did notice is that those little lemons, they're white. So I think they need to be yellow or Daffodil Delight. So how about this? Let's color a few lemons and just kind of, and so, you know, I haven't tried a Stampin' Write marker. I'm actually using a Stampin' Blend, but you know, if you want to try the other marker, that's perfectly fine too. And so I just, um, I'm not going to do them all for you here, but I just picked some random um, lemons. I'm just going to call them a lime, but I picked some random lemons and I just started kind of coloring my leaves. And I am honestly, you know, not worrying about staying in the lines. Um, it really kind of gives it a little bit of personality. Of course, you don't want to be like, you know. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be like, oh, wow, Brandy, you really missed the box. Um, no, but definitely, you know, don't worry too much about it. So are you guys excited to see what it looks like after I colored all of those little lemons? You see that little lemon? Oh, so cute. Okay. All right. So here is what it looks like after you color some lemons. Isn't that fun? And so what if you color some lemons to kind of bring the box alive, but then you add a belly band. And so now you have a beautiful box that you can gift. All right, I just knocked my little gem off right there. 
So you got to put my gem back on. Um, all right. So now you can see you have a beautiful box to put a gift in. And these lemons, they just look so pretty. So this is Granny Apple Green um, Daffodil Delight. And then I just added a white strip. Of course, I had flowers left. I had my twine and I had some of that left. And, um, you know, I just thought that that really brought it to life. Okay, so now you guys know I can't stop there. All right, so how about this? I have some tissue paper and I thought, well, you know what? When they open that box, I want it to be pretty on the inside. So what should I do? Well, let me show you what we should do. I'm going to grab a block here in my drawer behind me as I did not. I'm kind of going rogue here. Um, well, sort of. And so I'm going to pull out Hello Sunshine and I'm going to add it to my block. And we're going to just ink it up and we can stamp Hello Sunshine on our tissue paper. So this tissue paper is literally like at the end of the holiday season, I go and buy tons of it because it's like two bucks at CVS and you get like 50 sheets or something crazy. And I'm always like, now why am I doing that? And I never really know until, you know, next Christmas or holidays or birthdays when I need it or for my crafting. Okay, so we've got some of our hellos or our hello sunshines. And so we'll stamp a few lemons here and there, right? You guys are kind of seeing this come together, okay? And so then we have our leaves and we're gonna add some leaves. Let's see if I can be a little bit better at putting those down. It's hard to see, little suckers. Okay, my God, let's add one more because we can't leave that one without it. Okay. So there we go. So, you know, this is kind of giving you the idea. So we're going to close up our memento pad and let's pull in our Stampin' Blends. And so I'm just going to pull out my dark Daffodil Delight and yep, I'm going to color. Now you don't want to dig a hole. Okay. Keep that in mind. We don't want to dig a hole, you know, keep it light and kind of brisk and just kind of go over it. It will soak through. Absolutely. This is actually layered. I've got a couple layers in here, um, but that's what it looks like. And that's pretty much what it looks like on your cardstock too, right? So no biggie. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And so I'm just going to kind of, you know, add a little bit of color to it. And you guys kind of see where I'm going with this. Um, and then I have my granny apple green. I'm just adding a bit of color. And right about now, I could use a lemon drop or maybe a lemon cookie or lemonade. My favorite is like back home, and Dawn, you'll appreciate this. When you go to the fair, I used to show horses, and my favorite is a big fat elephant ear, which I think they're called waffle somethings here. Um, not totally sure, um, but we call them elephant ears and I loved them. And so we would have that and a big thing of lemonade, fresh lemonade, not healthy by any stretch, but something I looked forward to every single year going to the fair. Okay. So are you guys ready to see what is inside the box? Okay. So let me just show you. Um, let me just say that the gift, I couldn't make up my mind. And so, there's not a whole lot of a gift in there. You guys are going to have to help me with that. But how fun is that? So now you have tissue paper that matches and you have a belly band as well. Do you guys see all that fun coordination there? And so that's with, you know, that's with that stamp set, these little, you know, lemons. And so you can stamp your own tissue paper. So that way, you know, when you open it up, maybe you, and you know, again, I did not stamp a ton of tissue paper, but you can put it however you want to put it. But I have my card box, you know, and so if I were gifting my cards, I could 
put two things of cards in there if I wanted. I was trying to come up with different ideas, lemon drops, lemonade. I could, couldn't find a small enough lemon right there. Um, but maybe a cookie, maybe a, a homemade cookie, maybe homemade cookies. Um, and you know, definitely you're gonna wanna do more tissue paper than I did. I sort of misjudged that. Um, but you guys kind of see where I was going with it and how much fun it would be to give this as a gift. And you know, I was even thinking, what about like soap, right? You could put some handmade soap in here as well, or, or not handmade necessarily. Well, you know, the handmade stuff that you buy at the store. Um, Cause you know, I don't know how to make you some soap now, but, but I love to buy some pretty soap. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys like that? So it's just a really fun, easy box that you can re-gift and, you know, put something fun in there for somebody else. Um, you know, I just absolutely love it, love it, love it. So let's kind of, kind of recap what we did today. As you know, we have the kits, you know, the cards that Stampin' Up! shared with us, which were fantastic, but we sort of switched them up a little bit and we added some white backgrounds. And that just sort of changed it up just a wee bit, right? And then from those cards, what we decided to do is we decided that we were gonna use, we were gonna cut the card stock, right? And from the cut card stock, you know, the other portion, we were gonna kind of come up with our own idea with our stamp pad. And we did the same thing with this fun lemon. And talk about what a pretty gift. I mean, even putting a bunch of these inside this box would be fabulous, coordinates beautifully. So there you have it. These are some fun cards for you guys to create with. Um, I just, oh, I'm so excited. So one thing I wanna show you really quick is that um, we have a new beginner's brochure. And um, I'll ask if Miss Amanda could go ahead and, and put that link out there. But before I do that, I wanna show you one more thing. Um, before I forget, I almost did. So I'm gonna just kinda tuck these guys back. If you go to brandyscards.com, you're gonna see that I have taken pictures of both types of cards and I've posted them out there for you so that you can have a look, okay? And you can see, you know, kind of see what we have done today. I do want to show you one more thing though. After my card kit was all put together, um, okay, I said one more thing. Yeah, I'm like, like three more things. Um, so after it was all put together, this is a mess because I've been showing you guys all kinds of stuff, but you have the stamp set, you still have your block. This is how much twine I had left. And look at all of the flowers that I had left. Tons and tons of flowers. And then I had, um, then I had the Knight of Navy. And look at that, I've got tons of Stampin' Dimensionals left. Well, I wouldn't say tons, but quite a few. I mean, there was 15 cards here. So quite a bit of product left over. Now, if you liked this video, make sure you click the, that you like it for me. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to Brandy's Cards, please do, because I am going to have the computer randomly pick another winner, and I'm gonna send you this kit. Uh, but you can't win unless you place a comment or uh, you subscribe to Brandy's Cards. So make sure, make sure you do that. Now here you go. Here is another idea for you. Um, so I thought to myself, I love these lemons, I love this stamp set, and I don't want to lose it. So what I decided was I have, a, I've always purchased these cases. And so here, let me see. Um, I have stuff kind of everywhere, so hang tight. What I did is after I was done with my box or my cards, right? Um, let's see, I'm looking for the directions. Where did those little guys go? All right, well, maybe I don't need to show that to you. Okay, so, oh, there it is right there. So the directions, um, here we go. So that's what you get. So once you're all done with your kit, do you really need these anymore? Well, I love ideas and I love layouts right? So I keep all this stuff. But what you can do is I thought, well, what if I want to save my stamp set, but I want these ideas too. So what I did is I cut it down 
so that it fit inside a standard case. And then on the inside, I actually cut out these cards, super easy. They're just rectangles. I cut them out and I actually stuck them inside. So you can see here this case to do this, I actually cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock to fit. And this piece isn't even taped down. It isn't even glued down. And I just kind of figured it out for the spine. And it's really nice if you kind of bend it upward, you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see or not. That's kind of totally plasticky and clear. Um, but I wanted this piece to show on the, the other piece to show on the inside this piece to show on the outside. And so just kind of stick it all back in there and get it to where I like it. You know, kind of get it adjusted and neat. And then you can close it, right? And you have the cards on the inside. So it's kind of cool. And then you have your stamp set. Um, and so, you know, you can kind of keep some ideas for later and see what you did with it. So that's kind of a fun idea, especially if you're not gonna keep the, um, the instructions. Okay, now the beginner brochure. I love this brochure too, and um, you know, it is online for you if you don't actually have one of these. And so inside the beginner brochure, these are some super cute stamp sets. Some of them are in the annual catalog and some of them are not. And so I thought this stamp set, Cute Fruit, would be absolutely adorable besides your lemons and you know these types of cards. I mean, wouldn't it? And so this one says, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. You're one in a melon. I mean, come on, right? I mean, it's so cute. Wishing you a slice of happiness. I mean, that is super fun. And so I thought, and I didn't have time. Um, we had a crazy week with remote learning and kind of technology and it was a little, little rocky and um, but at any rate it was great but I didn't have the opportunity to kind of play with this one so it might just be for another day but this is precious and you can kind of go through here our zebras which we all love they made it into the big catalog and of course we have the happy birthday and there's your simply citrus card kit so again, Stampin' Up! is actually featuring this one in the beginner brochure as well, because it's such a beautiful kit. All right, and speaking of kits, I just actually saw that one. If anybody is interested in the August kit, I do have some left. Um, and I think I've got a few July as well. So just reach out to me and let me know, and I'd be more than happy to get you one of those. Okay, so I am going to move over to my seat and come back to you guys here. I've got to get myself kind of settled and sit down. All right, so I am gonna kind of look. Hi, Kelly Parker. So good to see you here. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Sherry. Okay, so I hope that you guys liked those cards and like some of the alternate ideas. Now, of course, you know, there is more that you could do with that. Um, but I was kind of, you know, my thought process was is to show you, okay, this is how Stampin' Up! made them. I switched it up just a little bit, but then you make your own card bases and now it changes the card totally. Um, and so if you start layering some other card stocks, adding some white, doing some different things, um, I think you'd be amazed at what you can come up with. All right, so I'm gonna kind of look down. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, that's how I store my kit, my, my stamp sets when I'm done, absolutely. And so for Paper Pumpkin, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can actually download the case as well. Uh, the case cover, not the case, um, to save, you know, to store your stamps um, from Paper Pumpkin too. So if you're not familiar with that or you're not sure where that's at, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to show you that. Super. Hi, Wendy. I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. And Sheila's in here. Guys, thank you so much for being in here. Still haven't had water. Actually, Marsha, I got me some water right here. <laughs> I do talk a lot, but you know, I just love being here and I love sharing with you guys. So, um, you know, yeah. So I've got some cards to show you guys. You guys want to see some cards? Here we go. So let me show you a few cards that I received. And speaking of, you know, this kit 
Check out this one. This one is also from this stamp set. Oh, let's see, there it is. Um, and it is the, the lemons, right? And so this is the designer series paper with these um, with the limes and the lemons stamped on there and hello sunshine this one's actually from tanner from stampin up and so um, thank you tanner for this adorable card absolutely love it and it goes perfect with the cards we were making today and this next beauty um, is absolutely gorgeous and this is from karen byerly and karen says that she took her a long time to find a card that she would send to me Karen, I love your cards and you are very talented. So you don't ever have to worry. Um, just beautifully done, absolutely beautiful layers. And then on the inside, she's, you know, she stamped some more fun stuff on the inside and some flowers and a beautiful little flower on the back with her signature. And it just was lovely. So thank you for that beautiful card. And then here's a fun one. This one is from Dorothy. Look at you, Dorothy. I wish I could like move like that goat. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it. So this one says hello and dance like no one is watching. So I just thought that was super cute. So thank you, Dorothy, for that card. And this one is another beautiful card. Tahira sent me this one and it says, happiness is a cup of coffee with a friend. You've got that right. So thank you for this beautiful card and for the gift. I absolutely loved it. And um, so thank you. I just really appreciated you thinking of me and sending that my way. And check out the dragonfly. Don't you, didn't you guys love the dragonfly? I always get sad when they retire some things, but this one is super pretty too. This one's from Helen and I love her dragonfly. She's got a vellum dragonfly over the, um, the one underneath, so pretty, and there's some glimmer paper, which we all love the sparkle and the shine with that. So pretty, so thank you, Helen. All right, so let's see, what else do I have here? So here's another one. This one says, just breathe. Oh, we know that I need to come up for air and do that. <laughs> so this one's from Carol, and this is that sunburst. I think it's called a sunburst technique and it's just really pretty, very, very pretty, and it's nice how she used the designer paper to do that. So pretty, okay, so this one, I got excited because it was with fabric. So you guys are trying the fabric cards, yay! So I got two fabric cards this week. This one's from Linda, and she, um, this is fabric, and her bird is fabric, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was super excited, Linda, that you tried the fabric and that you loved it. And she did her, um, her coordinating envelope. Super cool. I should do it that way so you can see her beautiful card. So fun. Okay. And then this one, another pretty card. This one's from um, Hester Kelly. And Hester, thank you for sending me this. This was her take on my bird card. And she found, and I don't know if this is um, the same from the, the giraffe um, fabric, but she found some fabric that kind of looked more like a limb. And I just thought that was super fun. You did such a beautiful job and your card is gorgeous. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and we have another sunflower. This one's from Barb. Check out that happy card. That just makes you feel happy. It's bright, those sunflowers, so pretty. Our church planted a sunflower garden and oh my goodness, it's just, just amazing to go out there and see those sunflowers. Okay, so let's see, do I have one more here? Let me see, I have one more, one more. So this one says, congratulations, and this one's from Sue Mack, and Sue is on my team and it's absolutely beautiful. I love your different glimmer papers, and then I believe that's kind of like a foil, a black foil paper, and your balloons, they're just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous and festive. So thank you, Sue, for sending me that. Okay, so I think, let me see, does that wrap up our cards for today? I think it does. So um, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope that you had fun. I'm gonna look down here and see. Beautiful fabric with the bird. Yeah, the cards are gorgeous. I get so many ideas 
from the cards that I receive. I love getting your cards. I enjoy going to the mailbox so much. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, my family thinks I have like these like crazy ears because I can be on the other side of the house and go, oh, the mailman's here. <laughs> I get so excited to greet him. I even bring him like a bottle of water. So he takes extra good care of my cards that y'all send. I get so excited. Um, so thank you for thinking of me. And thank you for taking time to join me tonight. I truly appreciate um, you being here and you loving stamping up and crafting as much as I do. Um, I want to encourage you to continue to send your cards. Um, you know, send them. If you're looking for a charity or you're looking for an organization to make some cards to send to, um, you know, there are plenty. So let us know. We can, you know, we can get you plugged in. Um, but of course, you know, your friends and your family, we all need that encouragement and support right now. Um, so be sure to be sending those cards. Okay, yes, Marty, you need to join. And I'd love for you to join my team. That would be fantastic. As a matter of fact, we have lots of our team members in here. So, um, hey, Kathy. Yeah, Kathy's right underneath you and Michelle. So we've got lots of our, our team members. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe, please subscribe. And um, so if you join me next week, I'll have a couple of winners for our um, Simply Citrus card kit. So I'll be sure to give that to, you know, to, to announce the winners. And if you won from last week, make sure that you reach out to me um, before the 28th so that I can get you those gifts. Miss Amanda, thank you for being in here. Priscilla and Kathy for helping with questions. Trudy, I appreciate you guys. Hi, Shirley. Um, love having you here and appreciate you guys sticking with me. And um, don't forget to, you know, just take care of each other. For those of you in California, we're praying for you and take care. And um, hopefully these fires will kind of, they'll be able to get them under control right away. It's such a scary time. Um, but you are in our hearts and we're thinking of you all. Take care, everybody. Have a, have a good night and a fantastic weekend. Bye now.